everyone. Welcome back to another plan with me. Here's my spread from last week. I had a pretty good week. I missed Thursday quite a bit. I missed, I got sick. So, but other than that, I really like it and it was a good week. So here is this week. I'm just pulling it out of my planner as I always do. I don't have a ton going on. I have to bring in snack for one of my classes tomorrow, even though we're in college, but I have to do that. And then my boyfriend has a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. And then other than the, that, the week is pretty clear. I have some to do's I want to get done on Friday just because I have the day off and I need to get some stuff done. And then other than that, I don't think I have that much to do. I have a bigger, I have a big-ish project due on Wednesday. But yeah, other than that. So here I'm just laying down my washi tape. I picked this really nice green color that I got from the Target dollar spot. I think during summer. It was either during summer or spring or the very beginning of fall. I guess that's not really like comprehensive, but I think it was like spring or summer. Now I'm just using two of my little tiny washi tapes, an orange and a purple one that I got in a pack from eBay. Yep, that's what it was, eBay. And I just made a little flag on the end, and I'm just going to lay down the purple one right next to it in a, kind of the way I always do. I always kind of layer these kinds because they're so tiny, but I really do like them. And if you ever want the link to those, let me know, and I will give it to you. I just don't put links in my description box because I think it takes a lot of time and um, unless somebody needs it, I don't think I'm going to take the time to do it. But yeah, now I'm just using the orange washi tape again, the orange really thin washi tape again, and putting it up near the top near the word October, because this is the last day of October So now I'm just going to be getting out the stamps that I'll be using for this plan with me. I'm going to be using two of the Kelly Perky sets and then one of the Michael's Recollections planner sets. And then the inks that I'll be using are pearlescent purple, and that's a dye ink, and then I'll be also using persimmon orange, which is a chalk ink. I used persimmon last week, and I fell in love with the color, so I thought that it would be good again this week for all the orange in this spread. Next, I think I'll be getting out, yes, next I'll be getting out the icon stamps that I want to be using, and I'm going to start with the glasses, and then the food icon, the little utensils, the nursing hat because of my boyfriend's doctor's appointment, the heart checklist, the what else did I pull out? Oh, and the star. And so now I'm just going to begin stamping my weekly class schedule. I always do this with the little glasses because I think just glasses reminds me of studying or like schoolwork, even though I don't wear glasses. I have perfect vision actually, but just side note. <laughs> but here I am stamping them out. And I think my stamping is getting better. However, I still find that I have a lot of problems with getting them to be even and getting them to, like, look how I want them to look. And even though I've slowed down because I am doing the voiceover plan, plan with me, I'm still having problems with that. And I think it's just because I'm not practicing enough, if that makes sense. So I'm also going to be trying to practice my stamping techniques so that way I get better. So now I'm just getting out one of the little rectangles in the new Kelly Perky set I just got. I got this at Michael's for around $2. I think the sets are normally $14 or $12, so that was a really good deal. It was on, I think, clearance, plus I might have had a 20% off coupon. I don't know. I can't remember. But I'm just stamping it down on a Wednesday because I have a factor chart due for my night class, and I just wanted to make sure that I remembered because normally I don't have homework for that class, so I just wanted to make sure that I remembered to do it on the day that it was due. And then here I'm just stamping out a little nurse's hat so I can mark down when my boyfriend has his doctor's appointment and then the next icon stamp that I'll be using is the little one that I use to denote when I make YouTube videos either filming and editing so I just have one on Monday to make sure I upload this and then on Sunday to make sure I film another plan with me so here I'm just showing you my food icon set and I'm using a black ink because I found I was looking for a sticker that would fit this perfectly but I couldn't find one so I'm using the sticky part of a sticky note and I'm making my own sticker. So first what I'm doing is I'm just stamping down the icon and now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out so that way I can use it as a sticker. I couldn't find one that I liked perfectly, so I thought this would work really well. However, I was supposed to be bringing snack in on Monday, but as you'll see in this video that I'm doing it on Wednesday, I messed this up, but you'll see me fix it later. Um, and then here is just an up close of it done, even though it's on the wrong day. So here, as I mentioned before, I did mess up and I only put one box on Wednesday and I put my snack label there. But as you can see, I just migrated, I just added another box and then I migrated my new sticker that I made up. And so it was no big deal. And I had something to fill the box with on Wednesday, so it really wasn't a big issue at all. Here I'm just filling out my school schedule and then I have to edit the plan with me and the snack um, icon that went in the box. And now I'm just filling out the school schedule again for Wednesday and then also writing my factor chart that I have due on Wednesday in the box. And then that my boyfriend has a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. As I finish that up, I'm just checking over my sticky note to make sure that I got everything for the first half of the week. 
And then for the last half of the week, I noticed that I had two things to do on Friday, but because I didn't know how I wanted to set up Friday yet in my planner, I left it there until a little bit later in the video, and I just wrote down that I had to fill my plan with me for Sunday. Now I'm using two alarm clocks from Piggy Park Designs just to make sure that I know that what time I have work on both Tuesday and Thursday, which is 8 to 5. I don't think I write that. Yeah, I don't write it down yet. I'm just doing stickers right now. And then I just put two little coffee cups nigh Tuesday and Thursday also, and these are from Missalin Designs. I'm actually a PR girl, and you can check the down bar or the down box to see how you can get 15% off your order of, at her shop. And here I'm just writing in my work hours, but I messed them up, so I'm just erasing with my pen. I'm so glad that my pens are erasable. I, when I found these friction pens, I just fell in love. I love them so much. I am so glad that they finally are available in stores because I use them seriously to death. I think I've gone through three packs already. Now, next, I'm just using a little laundry icon to make sure that I, get, I drop off my laundry to my mom's house on Saturday. I don't always follow exactly what day I say that I am going to in these Play With Me's just because my weekends are definitely a little, like, crazier than my rest of the week um just because I have the time I have the ability to change so things now around. I'm just getting out some of my more decorative stickers here are some fluffy maru friday stickers it's actually a little girl that's saying like friday like yay excited and I think that's so cute so I'm just adding it to friday and then now I'm inking up my little heart checklist that came out of the michaels planner stamp set I think that's what it's called and I'm just inking up the first three hearts because I only need three of them. I don't need all five, so I'm just wiping off the bottom two to make sure I don't have any extra ink. I'm stamping it down, and as you can see, my inking or my stamping technique is not that great because some of the hearts are a little, like, misshapen, so I need to work on that. I really do. Now I'm going to Missalyn's Fall Sampler set. I think that's what this is, and I'm just taking out one of the Payday stickers and adding it over to the side. I know red seems like kind of a weird color to add, but once you see my decorative stickers, which I stupidly didn't show you in the very beginning, but it really fits, so just wait for that. And then now I'm adding a little Piggy Park Design um, slow cooker sticker because I'm hoping that I can make a slow cooker meal on Sunday, and I'm just adding another Instagram sticker because I've been really bad about Instagram for like three weeks now, so I need to get back on my game. So I'm just adding a quote to the top which says, for Halloween I have decided to give up caffeine because if that doesn't scare the hell out of everyone, nothing will. And I just thought that was so funny and I just, I don't know, I Google, when I like pick out a quote for the week, I just kind of like Google, um, I'll say like Halloween quote or like quote about like Valentine's Day or whatever, like holiday or like week it is and that's how I pick it and I just thought this one was so funny so I had to pick it because I love coffee and caffeine and yeah so <laughs> there I'm just writing it out um I don't know if you guys want me to include when I'm writing but planning kind of to me is like also writing with stickers so that's just kind of what I do I just leave it all in there and now I'm just adding some of the decorative stickers see what I mean the red kind of goes with them I think they're so cute. I think they're by the brand Sticko, and I got them from Michaels, but I've, you can get these from, like, Walmart or Target. Probably not Target. You can get them from Walmart, Meijer. Um, I'm trying to think of other places, but, yeah. There, I'm just adding the bat at the top, and then I'm also looking for a place to add that little skeleton cat, and I've decided at that bottom of in between the two bottom boxes, and I just think she looks so cute. I just love these stickers. I've been waiting to use these probably for about a month. I bought them about a month before Halloween. And I just love them. Aren't they cute? And I just added the bird over on the side, over by kind of the red um, pay payday flag. And then I'm also going to be adding, I couldn't decide which animal I wanted to use. I really wanted to use that pug up at the top with the pumpkin on his head, but I couldn't figure out where to put him. So I decided on the owl, and then I'll save the pug for next Halloween. But I just put the owl at the bottom. He's dressed up like a little spider. That's so cute, even though I don't like spiders, but, like, that's cute. And now I'm just placing some candy in a trick-or-treat bucket. I put the trick-or-treat bucket on um, Monday because that's the actual day of Halloween. And I'm just placing the candy is kind of sporadically throughout the rest of the page. I pull a lot of them up and, like, try to replace them because I couldn't decide on a spot. Um, but I decided on a couple spots, so we're good. And then yeah, there's I'm the last candy the spread. I, I really end up really loving it. Now I'm just cutting off the excess washi on the edges. And I'm going to end up hole punching them. But thank you so much for watching. I really have enjoyed making these new plan with me's now that they're um, with voiceover, like a voiceover style. Because I think it's just so much easier not to have to talk while I'm laying down wash tape or writing or doing stickers. And so I'm actually really enjoying it a ton more. So I think this is probably what I'm going to stick to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!